Hello. Hi, everybody. What's up? Let's see, who do we got on here? We need a sound check, please. Anybody? Four people. Tell us where you're at. Are you home already, Beth? Oh, it's four o'clock. She gets out at 3.30 now. Nice. I, it's, I'm still, it's still strange to get used to because it was always so late. Okay, so, sorry. <laughs> All right, so, sound check, please. And if you're watching, where you're watching from. Sound is good. Okay, Great. we're not, Beth, we're not running the microphone today because we're going to be, just in case we need to move around. So we're doing exercises in the swim spot today. Mama! Exercises in the swim spot today, and then we're going to focus on trying to do exercises that we've never done before. Yep. Some easy, some hard. Yep. Some easy that can be made harder. Right. And there's always there's always an adjustment right. to make it harder or easier. Easier, yeah. So, but we wanted to do 10 new exercises. Is that not right? And what we did was we were ready to put the... It's it's always hard to see the the you know through the water yeah. at the person who is doing the exercise to accurately see how to do it. So we wanted to you know if we need to put it in hold we will and then so you can see but I think yeah. I, I turned the filter settings all down so the water's still and that'll be good. And something a little bit different. Uh, this is a new Challenger. Yep. Fifteen for us. Our other one was moved out of this warehouse and it came without soft tread yep and they couldn't get us soft tread in time for us to install it so we thought that this would actually be a good right video for people because there are a lot of customers who don't have soft tread yep. in their swim spot and just to show you that um i do not have water shoes on you can use water shoes i didn't I just don't have any, so I didn't go and get any to try. So all of these are um, hopefully possible <laughs> with well, we know water shoes. We know, we, we know they're possible because we just tested every one of them. <laughs> well, I'm just saying, you know, maybe some people. <laughs> it, it, is, it is a little bit slippery, but we're really focusing on yep. lower body exercises in here today and core exercises. Um, so again, things that can be done at home in your swim spa, summer's coming to an end, summer pools are closing, unfortunately, this is depressing, but yep, it, is depressing. Um, it is true. And I, I will say, I will, I'm going to interrupt there. The leaves are already starting to change here and I don't think it's because of ugh. the, the season coming yeah. to an end just yet. I think it's because it's so dry. It's going to be early. I was just going to say, and you know, the leaves that are falling are, are brown. They're not like great right. colors. Like, yeah, everything, you know. everything in the Northeast is dead yeah. from uh, the, like this crazy drought until the we last two days. Some good, yeah, right, rain yeah. yesterday. So anyway, all right. All right. So, uh, let's see. Let's okay. just go ahead. So, so what we're going to do, we, we designed a workout for today. Um, and I'm going to use this as an example. Before we get down with the exercise help, I'm being told the high, the spa is high in phosphates. We are not going to address that right now. Okay, we're oh. definitely gonna focus on the exercises. Um, we can get in some questions at the end if there's time. We've got 10 new exercises and we need to make sure that these are done correctly. Um, okay, so I would see. just really quickly, we did get one question oh, ahead yeah. of time from Barbara in New Jersey. And yes, these swim spas are absolutely capable of being used year round. Um, ben lives in Connecticut. He has a Challenger 15 in his yard outside. He uses it all year round. Um, they are super efficient and the covers are snow load. They are made, it is their claim to fame that they're made for year round use. All right, I'm getting made fun of for my hair and oh. face. Shave your face. <laughs> uh, I'm not I so I will reply to all of the hair uh, comments I just stopped shaving and stopped cutting my hair I I don't know why I just felt like it so I did it's only hair it's only and it's still gross so I'm gonna grow some all right uh, I don't where we're gonna go with that I don't know but I, I, I Ben's can deal friend with who never watches is bald and he is a great guy and he told Ben if I ever had hair again, <laughs> I would never ever cut it. And ever <laughs> again. So Ben is uh, I stop. honoring, I just stop. Yeah, honoring I just stop. Dave. <laughs> uh, Rachel, Rachel said, and by the way, it's good to see you, Rachel. Yes, it Got is. Got a, a bit of a look of Captain America going there, Ben. I'll, oh, I can nice. deal with that. Yeah, so seriously. I can certainly deal with that. 
All right. And um, Rachel, your daughter looked beautiful at her prom. Yes. Just got concrete poured today. We'll hit a couple of comments. That's awesome. Oh, it's so much fun. And, uh, you know, in the wintertime, they're just amazing. Well, lots of people on today. This is exciting. Yeah, there is. I feel like everyone was kind of on vacation or outside Definitely. last time. <laughs> do what you want to do, Ben. I want to grow some hair, so we're going to grow <laughs> some hair. I know it's stupid. It's the little things that make me happy these days. All right. So we've got 10 new exercises. All right. And we're gonna, we're gonna, I'm gonna swing the camera around so you don't have to look at my hair. We're gonna look at Mary. There we go. Oh, it's good. You're good. All right. So, where's the list? Mary hid the list. Okay. So, actually, the first one, I actually wanna talk about the step downs. Oh, yes. Okay. Keep, stay away from the man bun. <laughs> okay. So, there's this one exercise. And I won't give a plug out to the to the coach that we've been talking about and with. Um, it has nothing to do with Master, just for us. Um, as you guys know, Mary and I are aging athletes. <laughs> she seriously she cringed. Yeah. Aging athletes. And we all need to take good care of our bodies. And one of the things, you know, we raced Ironman, so we have a lot of miles on these, these bodies. And... Um, in the last, would you say the last year with the running stopping? Two years, probably. You think so? You think it's been two? For you, yeah. Almost, so, yeah. in the last two years, after I run, my knees have started to ache afterwards. Not acute, like a general ache all over the place, which is sort of strange. So, I stopped, you know, running much and started doing other things. And I want to take good care of those knees. And this exercise is really critical. Actually, the first two exercises are really critical for knee health. Um, and there's just no better way to do it than in the water. I mean, everybody who can't exercise on dry land, you know, one of the biggest things are knees and hips. And this one is critical. And, and since, so anyway, to, to make a long story short, we've added all these really strange exercises that we've never done before. And I'm actually running again and without any knee pain, uh, which is sort of interesting. So I thought that it was just, it was over, uh, to be honest with you. And I'm not... Uh, I don't have to run. I don't have some, some, you know, thing going on where, you know, I, I'm, I'm going to, I'm willing to damage my body and to run. I'm not willing to damage my body, body, which is why we stopped or me stopped in particular. So although Mary's not running that much these days anyway. So, um, so this is one of those things. And really what it turns out is to strengthen your patellar tendon is huge. And we pretty much have it narrowed down to that's all it was. And, you know, all the things in the last 20 years in the, in the fitness industry that we believed sort of been proven to be not quite true when it comes to knee health. Um, what's been happening in the last 20 years, we've been protecting our knees so much that we may have actually weakened we them. them um, where was that study done with the pulling of the logs? Was that Norway? Oh, I'm not sure, actually. I didn't read that. One of the things is uh, in, in, you know, loggers in Norway used to cut down these massive trees and then they would put a chain around it and they would drag it backwards. So this backwards drag was what made their knees stro you know, so strong in, in, in whatever it is in that region. I'm, don't, don't quote me on the country, but it's somewhere over there. Uh, they have, you know, the least amount of knee surgeries because they, they did it for years and, you know, hundreds and hundreds of years and, and their knees are stronger and their knees, that's all about that knee health. And this, these two exercises are really designed to, and do you, I mean, you didn't really have any knee pain before starting all this? No, no, but. But I did, and, I and it's, it and it's, it, and it, a lot it. of it is gone, um, most of it's gone, and I can run, you know, a pretty fast five mile clip, and I'm fine afterwards, which I was not, I was aching for days afterwards, so before, so definitely a game changer, and these first two exercises are critical. Uh, for that, for that knee strengthening in a way that we've never done before. You definitely have never seen that on, on our lives before. Yeah. And we these are surprisingly challenging. They look <laughs> yeah, they are. Like they're going to be easy. They're not. They look yeah. like they should be easy. Uh, they aren't. If you saw us doing them like on the steps outside, not in the water, you would say they, they look like they would be easy. They are difficult. Yes. And, um, and the more wobbly you are, the better it is because those are all your stabilizers, all the little muscles. And then, of course, we're going to strengthen, uh, you know, that, that main tendon as well. So without further ado, let's swing this around. 
Okay, right. Dr. C. So these are called step downs. Oh, the water looks awesome with the pump yeah. not running at all. So these are step downs. So what she's doing, she's got her toes right towards the edge of that bottom step. Now that is a very large step. It it's probably 10 inches, maybe a foot. So what she's doing, she's doing a one-legged squat essentially. Now, here's the thing. I want you guys to pay attention to this. See how her knee is going out in front of her toe? So keep doing them there. Just do a bunch, like do like 50 each leg. See how her knee is, she's like, you're an idiot. In front of the toe. Traditionally, we were trying to avoid that because we thought that that was bad. And it turns out is that we were overprotecting our knee in a way that we shouldn't. Now, here, if, if you have destroyed knees on dry land, if you did that much of a one-legged squat, or a step down, it would hurt very badly, and I don't recommend that. But in the water, we're of course 75% more buoyant, 70, 75% more buoyant, and we can do that. Now, if you have, you know, just in really rough shape, lots of miles on those knees, what you're gonna wanna do, Mary, switch legs and show me half reps, please. So she's not going all the way down, so I'm gonna focus on that foot. She's not going all the way down, and that will work beautiful. Okay, so you don't have to go all the way down. This is the adjustment to make it easier is to go halfway down and I'm sure she's still feeling it. Yeah. Okay, now when you're on here and you can't see this, if, if Mary was wobbling and I, and I did these uh, a week ago in mine at home and tried this for the first time, um, and this is something you can do multiple times per week to get blood flow to your knees and it will heal and feel great. So. And you can feel it in your ankles. Oh my God. Shin. Every stupid, little, <laughs> every stupid little stabilizer muscle you've got cooking there is working here. So if you're doing these in your wobbly, then what you can do for the time being, you can hold on to the sidewall if you can reach it. I don't think Mary could even reach it. Uh, looks like she could from there, but I bet she can't. Nowhere near it. Right, nowhere near it. Yeah. Yeah. So, but if you can reach it, that's fine. Her, her, her balance is impressive. We've been working on this. Uh, that's interesting to note that but if you're if you are wobbly that's actually good that means that you need it and this is huge you guys this one is very important this has been honestly other than you know maintaining lean body fat this has been one of the focuses on our training program in the last six ish months maybe four four to six months and what a difference okay so now you take a rest mare and, and I'm telling you guys, you will feel that exercise. All right, so again, to, to, to recap, her toe for the, for the foot that's working is towards the edge. It can be hanging over a little bit. It can be back a little bit. And then you're gonna step down. That other leg is straight till your heel hits the floor. If you can go that deep, if you can't go halfway, and it's a, an amazing exercise for knee health. And of course, in the water is gonna feel great. Mm -hmm. Uh, we're not going to damage anything and just be, you know, just be, be aware that if you're wobbling, that's actually a good thing. And eventually you'll get used to it and strengthen. And when you don't feel that wobble anymore, that means you made a change, a physiological change, and you're stronger than you once were. So it's really huge. This is, this is critical. Okay. So what are you doing there, Mary? Staying warm. <laughs> I would, you look like you're going potty. Don't go potty. Not going Do potty. not go potty in our new swim spa. <laughs> uh, let's see. Melissa said, oh, she, it's a C more, so I can't read it all. And Mary's in there. Hang on. Let me try. Uh, oh, I got it. Let's see. So Melissa said, my husband has a horrible knee and is in pain all the time. He had surgery and it failed to yield results. Oh. I'm so excited for this spot to help him slowly heal. He's done massages, acupuncture, injections, and nothing has helped. Melissa, this is what you, this is, this is your new medicine. Okay. What are you doing? Did you shut the, yeah. oh, okay. Okay. So the next thing is an adjustment of what you guys just did. So, oh, I just bit, turned it off. On, here, go ahead. Uh, just probably a little bit more advanced. Right. Yeah. So I'm turning the camera back onto me. So what happened? So first was the active step down. Now reps and sets. Um, I've been doing sets of 10 and 12 each leg, okay? 
and it's worked really, really well. Um, we do, I do them in the swim spa, I do them dry, I do them if I'm walking on hard floors all day, I'll do them to warm my knees up. Amazing exercise, this is a game changer. I can't stress it enough, I know you're tired of hearing me say it, but I'll say it one more time because it's freaking awesome. So the next one is not up and down, it's just a static hold in the bottom position, but you're not putting your weight on that lower foot all the way, just a little tiny bit of weight on that heel, and I'm gonna turn the camera around so you can see, Mary. This freaking smokes. Yeah. Your, your quads, your, your patellar tendon, you'll feel it. So actually, can you switch feet? Because it's hard to see. There you go. So now, can you move that hand up? There you go. So what she's doing, she's doing that same exercise but holding on the bottom of it. All right, and now that bottom heel is making contact but it's not bearing weight, it's just steady. And now you can use your arms to kind of stabilize, but this is just gonna put constant pressure. And the goal here is 45 seconds each leg and it, you will, you are gonna laugh yeah. when you, <laughs> do you hear her voice? <laughs> yeah, you are gonna laugh when you, it looks like it's very, very easy. It is not. And it puts just all of that good stuff, good pressure on that patellar tendon and, and it's for strengthening purposes. You don't have to have a timer, you, you're good. That was great. So do the other leg just cause you, you gotta. All right, what do we got? I'm just sifting through a couple of comments. Mary Ruth, 65 or nurse of 42 years and ran for 45 years, trainer 15D is my medicine. Yeah. Uh, I love to hear that Mary, yeah. that's great. Okay. Okay, okay, how we doing? Do, do, do. Um, Merrily, I think I got that right. That's why I'm getting a spa, so I can walk. Absolutely. Game changer. You guys all know that the water is equalizer. Uh, and which cover lift do you recommend for H2X Trainer 19? Uh, I do recommend the hydraulics. I like hydraulic assist. Okay? Okay. So, those two exercises exercises are all about knee health. It's going to strengthen your whole leg, your stabilizers, your synergists, um, your major muscle groups. It's going to hit everything, but it's really about the strengthening. Now we're going to move into some different things, and these are not in, in any particular order. Um, should I like sh show that maybe? So here, let's do this. So at least you could always do a screen grab. This is the list. So I'm going to leave that on there for 10 seconds or so, or 15 seconds. And this was my little cheat sheet. That's Mary's writing. And it wasn't really in any particular order. We were just looking for something that was gonna really give you guys something different to sink your teeth into and really focus on some neat things. And the knee health is so overwhelming. There we go. So the knee health is so overwhelming. Obviously everyone knows they need to do cardio. Obviously everyone knows they need to be as strong as they can be, but the knee health things are specific and that's pretty new in the fitness realm um, because we traditionally we were always talking about protecting that knee by not putting the knee in front of the toe and now we're hearing it's supposed to go in front of the toe after forever of not. So it's very strange, um, but in the swim spot, best place to start that stuff, uh, no question. And there's no, not, you know, you're not risking any damage of any kind. Okay, so now, next exercise, <laughs> the paddle board. <laughs> wait, 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 I'm gonna turn this around. So the next exercise we've, you've seen before, but it's such a good one that we put it back in here. So what we're gonna do is Mary's gonna get her foot on that and hold it at the bottom, hopefully without letting that thing shoot up out of the water like a rocket and hit her in the face. Okay, get your foot straight, get your balance straight. Now Mary's not holding onto the side. If you need to for balance, you can. So what she's doing is she's lifting that knee. Might be better if I show it from there. She's lifting that knee slowly and, and it wants to wobble. You can see it wobbling that those wobbles are the good stuff, you guys, okay? And it's not easy. This is the Joe Q to Selly special. Yeah. Papa Joe loves this, this is one of his. I like it too, it's just, it's huge for, for strengthening hips, glutes, for mobility, balancing. for balance, stabilizers, it's huge. But you need to go slow. Mary, you keep going. I'm gonna turn this around. You need to go slow and that thing will shoot out of the water with yeah. force. If it came up and hit you underneath your nose, you will 
break your nose. It will come out of there like a, like a tomahawk missile out of a submarine, okay? So be careful with it. Let's watch Mary switch legs. You already did it? Yeah. The, dry, the, the other dry run, it was, took her another second to do. But you see how it's putting some force on there and she's working, you guys. But this one's huge. And my left leg isn't as good as my right. And those are all mus muscular imbalances that we all have. And it just takes a, a matter of doing all this weird stuff to find them and then correct them. So I don't know if you guys heard Mary said one side is better than the other. That's amazing to find that because that's an imbalance, muscular imbalance that needs to be addressed. Yeah. Now you guys keep in mind, this is gonna be really hard for Mary because she is four foot 10. <laughs> so it's always gonna be, you know, she has no help from gravity on this. She's really deep in that water. Right, yeah. Okay, you can pop that up on the side if you like. And, this, and I just did um, five on each leg. Yep, five on each nice. leg. It's just a regular, regular old kickboard. There's nothing, nothing fancy going on there. Um, that was the, the other thing we really wanted. This is the only equipment that you're going to have in here today. We were, you know, the, the dumbbells, we used to do the dumbbells. The dumbbells were discontinued because of the shortages and the supply chain, you know, crap. So today we focused on exercises that don't require and equipment. And I just to say, oh. that is a much more advanced exercise. I love that one. Um, it is, but if you wanted to bring it down to beginner, honestly, just do it with nothing. Do it with nothing. Trying to stay in place and, and like use the resistance of the water to push your leg down. And also if pump one was on low, it's not going to yeah. move enough water to knock you over, but it's going to make balance a challenge sure. and making that balance harder. That's still is it's awesome absolutely exercise. so it's a good beginner balance yep. exercise and, and then build up to maybe holding on to the side with the board and then more most advanced no hands and really trying to get that board up and down beautiful uh let's see kenny said just noticed that the therapy cove is on a different spot on the 15d uh kenny actually the if you on the uh, kenny ha, you have an 18 if i'm not mistaken right He's got a Challenger 8. He might have a Challenger 18 Pro. No, I, I think he's got a Challenger 18 Pro. I'm pretty sure. And it, there's not a lot of those running around, and I'm pretty sure Kenny Anderson has one. So what you have there, if you look at yours, of course, you have the propulsion box up there, and on the Challenger 18 Pro, it needs to be there. And you have a longer flat spot on the wall before the sweep, and then this is after the sweep. So it is going to be shaped a little different uh, on the 18 from the 15. 15 will be the same. As trainer 15, now. absolutely, will be exactly the same. Okay. So let's see, I'm just looking through questions. I think it helps if we hold our mouths like Mary does. <laughs> I don't even know. What I, don't, I didn't I notice know, either. So. Yeah, I, I don't know what she did, but it it's, must help because she's in really great shape. How tall is Mary? Mary is four foot 10. I tend to um, bite my lips from the inside when I'm really concentrating, so it could have been that. Well, don't, yeah, don't, don't fight the natural. So I want, now I want to know what it was. So I, I can't remember. Okay. Next exercise, single leg sweep the, You know what? Having that pump turned off is key to this. Cause you yeah. can completely see your legs is uh, perfect okay. under the water. Yeah. Yeah. Do that. Um, right there and do right leg first. Okay. So it's a straight leg sweep. So what she's going to do is, and again, if you need to hold on, it'll be easier if you hold on. So you want to straighten that leg as straight as you can, and you're moving it. It's a full sweep range of motion, like think like a pendulum like this. All right. And you're, you want to do it as quickly as you can because the resistance from the water is going to increase, but you also want to keep it steady and balanced. So you're going as fast as you can, but that doesn't mean losing control. So if you guys notice, Mary is staying balanced. She's assisting with her hands a little bit. Is that... Is that what she does with her face? <laughs> she's like, get that thing away from my face, you idiot. So she's gonna do these leg sweeps and the faster you go, the harder it is and you're gonna go from strengthening into cardio when you go faster and faster and faster, okay? And you can hear her, you can hear her making a little noise. It's not as quite as easy as it looks, okay? Do the other side, this is great. Mary, you're doing great. The lips, 
The mouth, you can definitely see that she's focused and concentrating. <laughs> the, li the lips never lie. That's funny. That's a funny observation. I love it. <laughs> hey, they're messing with my hair. Your, your mouth, my hair. All right. Yeah, these are hard. Yeah, it's... I like these. I, basically, guys, when, when we write one of these, I sift through. We have like a million exercises, and we just sift through until I find some weird ones that I like because they make sense physiologically, and this is another one of them. Um, so just, that oh, was I probably just turned that like off. middle. Um, in terms of difficulty, beginner, you could just lift your leg to the front, bring it back down to meet your other foot, and then bring it to the back and do the same thing. And then more advanced is if you do have the ankle fins. Oh yeah. Uh, or if you find ankle fins on like Amazon or something, adding those, those will add even more resistance. Yep. So um, we wanna just make sure that we're addressing like the beginner, maybe a middle and a, and a challenging, so. Sure, just so that good know. point, thank you. I didn't, I didn't even, adjustments, I didn't really get into that too, too much on all of them. Um, and again, back to the exercise selection, uh, guys, what we're looking for here is we want them to be challenging. We want them to, to make you work, but we really want them to do something. If you, if you are fortunate enough to have one of these swim spas, we have the ability to keep ourselves younger than you know most people do who don't have access to this kind of luxury. Um, this is a luxury premium luxury item and we're doing this of course it's great to you know relax have coffee in there or a cocktail maybe but this is the fountain of youth this is what keeps us moving you know youth like youth youth like I've said it for years youth like movement I want to maintain youth like movement and this is one of those things okay uh, let's see where in the step downs where would you stand in the h2x trainer 12 I'm looking at I'm looking at my cheat sheet here. Let me see. That I don't know. I, I don't know off the top of my head. So in the trainer 15, if you can see this, trainer 15 and challenger are the same, of course. That's the step that we're using. That's the one that Mary was using. I I that think I high. think that's higher. And if I'm not mistaken, what I'm going that? off of memory. What about that right I'm thinking step that there. step yeah. on the bottom. And just don't go all the way down. Okay, so I would go probably off of that step. Okay, uh, that I think is going to be. Too, it is a good question. It's a great question. I didn't even think about that. Okay. Okay, fountain of youth. Are you ready? So now we're doing side leg extensions. So it's the same thing as the sweep, but you're just going from center to side as high and straight as you can. Mayor, face, face, yeah, face me right, face me, please, me, face me. No, you're not. Oh. Now you are. Now, the faster she goes, the more off balance she's going to be. Yep. So if you get going fast, and what I would do on this is I would either count reps. <laughs> I don't think I ever noticed you do that with your mouth. Oh, it's I, my whole life I have always bite the inside of my mouth. I don't think I ever noticed it. Yeah. And we've been training together for a long time. So the faster you go, the more off balance you're gonna be. Great exercise, great hip mobility, balance, the whole thing. So you can either set time and do it for 60 seconds on each leg, or you can count to 20, you can do whatever you want. Uh, as soon as she's done, Leslie, I'll show that list again. And you could always watch it afterwards and grab a screenshot off of it. Perfect. Okay, we'll show the list one more time. We'll probably show it a few more times. You can take a screenshot of there and then follow it along. But these are these are really neat exercises that uh, that I would assign to anybody, and they're they're really awesome. Okay, next. Okay, lift kicks. This we've never seen before. So this is going to be this is a little awkward, right? Because yeah. it's yeah. yeah. So what she's doing, she's going to jump and alternate feet and then kick at the same time. Kick further, there you go. So she's jumping and kicking. She's not straight leg, because that's gonna be one of the next ones. Keep going. 
the faster you go, the more cardio. Now you guys note that there is no soft tread on this and she does not have any kind of a shoe on, a rubber shoe for exercising in the water. This can be done without the soft tread. So if you've got a swim spa that's a couple of years old before soft tread was offered, you can get in there and do these right now because it's not really hinging on your foot traction and you're ready to go. If you do have soft tread, you're all set anyway, but this works for both. That was part of uh, the spirit we were looking for here. And just to go, that, that is a little bit more challenging. If you wanted to do more beginner, just lift your leg up 90 degrees, kick out, bring it back in and go back down. Just a simple yep. leg kick. Well, and you can still can, alternate too. So You can alternate and you can also um, like speed it up, like if you just kick faster and bring it in and kick faster. So just different levels of difficulty. Yep, right but on. But that got me. I can hear it in yeah. your voice, yeah. So so if you guys, some of this, you know, the, the, the email went out, it, did it say aerobics or, or water aerobics? Something like that, aerobics. I think, it, I think the email said, might have said water aerobics. I'm thinking like Jane Fonda, super leg warmers, the whole outfit, everything. But that's not going to work in the swim spot, so let's do this. Okay, so some of these are going to be strengthening-based, strength-based, and some are going to be cardio-based. You know what? I can take care of that. Yeah. So, see, now, now that the water's moving, you can't quite see the clarity of Mary's lower body. So I'm going to go over here. Do, do, do. We're going to go into settings. The water was 93, and I'm going to press hold, system hold, water still. Perfect. Okay. It's a good trick. I never even, I never did that when we changed the filters. I just take them out. But I'm a good example of a bad example, yeah. as usual. Next one. Butt kicks. Nope. No, no. Butt kicks. Butt kicks? I didn't do these in order. Oh. Oh. Okay. Turn around. There you go. So now you're running in place with focus of seeing how high you can get that foot. Okay. So she's trying to actually get her heel up to kick her own butt, which is very difficult. Cause I, I happen to know that Mary's quads are exceptionally sore this week because yeah. we did some stupid stuff on Monday and we're paying the price. So let's see, do all spa systems have a system hold? I maybe I'm not actually not sure. Good question. Maybe someone from Master could hop on there. They probably do somewhere in there, the or at least, might not. yeah, I guess it probably depends if it's the touch screen. Higher with those heels. There you go. <laughs> Is that bothering your quads? Oh, I'm sorry. Did it, do you feel that in your quads? Yeah, a little bit, but actually it feels, it feels pretty good. It I should feel good like in that water. Like there you go, okay. So that one we've done before. Uh, we like it's a classic. Making it a little bit more easy. Just yep. Right just alternate. Absolutely. Okay. And faster if you want it. Yep. And then you could also add if you the added current. right if you yeah. added the current or you could add uh, leg ankle. fins, ankle fins yeah. if you if you have them. Okay. Next is double butt kicks. This one is sort of awkward it and is. it feels actually I'll I'll it feels stupid to do. It does. So you know. <laughs> so basically you're just jumping with both feet and trying to kick your own butt but it requires a lot of movement a lot of motion so if you can't move that fast don't try it do the other ones in place but this is hard and you your heart rate will climb right up okay Can you just slow it down to make it easier but when, when I do it the water sounds like a blunder <laughs> you'd barely move the water it was good Okay, straight leg lift kicks. So this is the same as the lift kicks, but now we're not bending the knee. Yeah. So actually, will you, will you show the other ones? So yeah. she, Mary's gonna do the leg kicks again, alternating leg kicks. It's sort of like a running in place. Yep, and then now this is gonna be different because she's gonna stop bending her knees. Right, so for that one, just, um, I'm not sure if you can see, but I, I lift my leg up in like a 90 degree and then kick it out quickly. Yep. Uh, where this one is like, like it's all coming, up, all coming from the hips. Like a soldier. Yep. I feel like it's like the beard, the German beer dance. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <But> <laughs> Not German marching, German beer dance. <laughs> oh, I think Oktoberfest, Mary. Yes. Keep going. We're not done. Get going. Are you getting tired on me? No, I, you can't really see much. 
Can we see it's perfect? Get going. All right, stop it. What are you doing? All right, perfect. All right, one more. One more. Then it's 35. We've got a few minutes for questions. So now is, are the side jumps. So it's oh, both yeah. legs jumping. Uh, face me. Actually, let that water calm down. Okay. Let the water calm. Let's check for comments or questions. Scrolling. Do you recommend the soft tread if you are getting a new one? I really do. Um, I, I, this is not an avenue. I'm going to switch this to me, Mary. Let that water calm down. Uh, this is not an avenue for us to upsell things. Um, it's really not. But I will say that the soft tread does aid in if, you're, if your journey is for fitness or, or rehab or aquatic exercise or whatever it is that you're doing, the soft tread, even on the steps, getting in safety-wise is fantastic. Um, there's a little bit of tread. Actually, you've never been able to see it because we've always had soft tread. So I'll, actually, after this, I'll scroll. I'll turn the camera around and I'll show you. Um, so, so I really do recommend the soft tread. It's very useful. Uh, the things that you'll hear us really recommend are the things that we use, you know, the things that we use in everyday life. Um, and I'll be brutally honest. Uh, I don't care for a stereo in there. I don't ever use it. And in here, we have a sound system. And at home, we have a, an outside speaker system. So this, the sound system is not really a thing that I, I'm overly concerned about. Um, I wouldn't not do it, but I, I, it's not a big thing. Whereas the soft tread to me is like mandatory. Um, the hydraulic cover lifters make opening it a breeze. That stuff, that stuff, that's us being honest um, on what we use and what we don't use in our own actual lives. Okay, so now the waters, I'm gonna show you. The, so people always ask, well, if you don't have the soft tread, are you, you know, what happens? There is texture on the steps. So you'll see on the seat, there's no texture and the steps have texture. We've been making swim spas like this for 20 years and the whole bottom underneath that soft tread has texture. So there is some texture there. Except for the middle where the T is. Where the T is because, yeah. so where that, actually I'll, good point there. So where that T is, the sticker wouldn't stick to the texture, so, the, so there's actually a flat spot molded in there, and the, the sticker goes on there so that it doesn't come off and it works really well. So this is what there always was. Soft tread is the new thing. This is the standard, all right? Um, I really do like the soft tread, okay? I know that a couple of times um, people have had them come up, said it curled on the steps. It's worth it. Yeah. It's plain and simple. I, I wouldn't order one personally without it. All right, so I also wouldn't order a hot tub without a lounge. <laughs> Can we say that in there? I don't, we're in trouble? You're in trouble, Ben. Okay, last one. Now the water's perfect. It's calmed down. Side jumps. Now, you can do these a couple of different ways. For today, Mary's going to jump out wide with both feet and then not all the way in and then do it fast. You can tell she's working. I never noticed to even how stupid is that? It's actually a uh, like a family thing, like a genetic thing. Well, because we all uh, like lick our either like <laughs> lick our lips or like bite on them. Um, mm -hmm. just, there's a few of us that do it. Yep. I'm sure when people concentrate, they have all sorts of weird things they do. You're not alone. I know I do. Okay. So you're doing this faster and faster and faster, and then it's going to be cardio as well as strengthening. Yeah. So a lot of what we did, and I'll show the list again, was for strengthening, for resistance, and then a lot was for uh, the cardio aspect of it. So I'm not going to call it water aerobics because I just can't say that without thinking Jane Fonda. <laughs> Um, but I love these exercises and if you, yeah. if you went and did those three or four times a week, just these simple exercises and I re I'm fully aware we didn't put any upper body in there. That was on purpose. Um, I think that if you did these for 30 minutes, you know, three times a week, your life would be different, especially whether you had issues or not that you were trying to deal with. Your life is going to be different. Mm -hmm. You're going to improve mobility, flexibility, strength, tone, all that's going to improve. Um, with no changes in nutrition, just adding this stuff and you're going to feel good when you get done with this. Like right now, uh, Mary and I 
had a, a rough week of training and we were pretty beat up, but I bet you when she comes out of here, she feels good. Mm. You know, she's going to feel like she warmed up. She's going to feel, you know, all that blood flow in those muscles and that's what heals things. So this is pretty awesome stuff. Um, this one I'm actually going to keep, you know, yeah. we, we write a lot of workouts and just discard them and just write new ones and don't really worry about it. But I like this. I like these exercises and they were, they were handpicked for you guys and we will all benefit from them, including us. That includes us. So, all right, let's see if we got any questions. Mary's right there. Let me. How's that? I'm sorry. <laughs> you look like Captain peeking over the top. <laughs> all right. Do all systems have a hold? Yes, it's on Trainer 15D. That should be the same. Uh, did I miss walking against the jet current? We sort of, uh, Peggy, we sort of left that out on purpose as of it, it definitely works well. I wanted to do the weird stuff. Whereas if you take a, if you just put a swim spot and throw it in someone's yard, they can turn the jets on and walk against it and it's gonna work real well. I wanted to do some things that were a little outside of that box um, that, that work some different muscles, but yes, it does work really well. And that butt kick exercise, if you turn oh, that yeah. current on low and do those, it's it's even more challenging. So you could either do that or, or high the, knees. Or the high knees in front, the yeah. running in place is probably, I think the high knees is my favorite one mm -hmm. for running in place in yeah. there. Uh, let's see. Kim, if you plan to exercise, absolutely get this afternoon. She's got to be in the soft dread. Yep, soft dread. I agree. Uh, Master Spas commented, my swim spa just got installed a couple of weeks ago, and I can't imagine. I know who it is. Kayla. <laughs> so everybody, Kayla, who keeps an eye, she's one of our chaperones. Uh, she just did is it Challenger 18. Oh, I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure it's a Challenger 18. I know she just got it. Yeah, sponsor. I know. She's been posting awesome. pictures in it, like yeah. herself, and it's really awesome. And, I mean, guys, when we say this all the time, we kind of joke about it. You know, Candy Maker eats their candy for the first six months, and then Candy Maker stops eating their own candy. We eat our candy. Okay? This stuff is really awesome, yeah. and it's legit. So, let's see. Absolutely recommend the soft treads. Love my soft treads. Soft tread. <laughs> Not afternoon. Oh, Kim, I figured that's what it was. Uh, let's see. I love my soft, my soft tread and trainer 15. I love your trainer 15 with soft tread too. It's American muscle. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Mary Ruth, I made the comment about her mouth and I do exactly what she said she did. <laughs> they love you, Mary. All right. It's a Mary thing, maybe. Mary, you are awesome. She is that. <laughs> she is you. that. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Okay, here's a good question. <clears throat> Melissa asked, and you're never going to guess the answer. Why are all spas, no matter the company, eight feet wide? Oh. I would love the width to be at least 10 because they won't fit on a truck. That's it because they won't fit on a truck. One dimension has to be eight feet or it's act typically like 94 inches, 95 mm -hmm. inches. So it gets through the doors. So the swim spots can be, you could make a swim spot 30 feet long, but it's still gotta be eight feet wide or you couldn't get it in a truck. And honestly, a lot of companies make them seven feet wide. Right, so seven and a half, we, yeah. We try to get it as wide as we're, possible. We're, we're getting so. every inch out of it that we can, but it, it is actually a shipping and trucking yeah. uh, requirement. Good question. Uh, no one ever asked us that before. I'll definitely be doing everybody's have you or can you put a simple little guide together that we can purchase Tom um, I don't know about that so am I assuming the ankle fins are not being made due to supply chain issues yeah they just can't get the raw material master spas can't get them um, there is a right. kit on Amazon uh, actually you can see our yeah that um, <clears throat> there is one that has just different yeah, Design and you want the fin. You want to make sure it has the fins, fins and to they catch are the water. Good. We've tried them. We got them ourselves and tried yep. them, th and they work pretty well. Yep. Well, I don't see. remember the brand or anything. I just kind. I think I searched aquatic. Uh, Holly, let's see. Holly said it's like amazing. water exercise equipment. equipment. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I just noticed Captain's toy was in that. Yeah. We're never going to find that. Okay, it's amazing how effective the low impact movements are, and the soft tread is a necessity. Yeah, I agree. 
Um, although you, you've seen here that you can do it without. Yeah. So depending on the exercises, the upper body exercises are actually worse Harder. with no soft tread yeah. because you're, you're planting your lower body so that you can work on doing the chest press and the rowing. Uh, and the, the soft tread does really help, help with that. Give you some traction. Um, bu -bu 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 -bum. Let's see. Uh, pen, I bruised my ribs about eight weeks ago. Long, silly story, uh, but I haven't been able to move in the water as it's caused the muscle. Can you, let's see, I need to see more. I can never hit that little button just right. She got that little finger worked perfect. I haven't been able to move in the water as it's caused muscle spasms. I miss it so much. The pain is almost gone, so I'm going to ease back in today. Uh, actually, uh, do you have a recommendation? I would go, I would definitely put the water at, you know, 93 or warmer, and I would just start to rehab, get in there and move around gently and not put too much pressure on yeah. it, because that's a real injury. Um, that's not like where you need to flow blood to heal it, like a muscular or soft tissue stuff. Um, anything like that, like bru bruised ribs or bruised ribs, and they're just going to hurt, and and you you know it's going to make all those muscles around because of the pain mm -hmm. and just tighten up. So just get in there and, and relax first, and then get back into the work as your Try body. Try the jets too, just gentle, against those gentle, jets, really gentle, gentle. Bruised ribs, yeah. painful. Uh, let's see, Melissa said what? Yeah, it's the trucking. <laughs> I bet you weren't expecting that one. Uh, mountain climbers one day with jets on. Uh, Sue Elkins, I know mountain, I was a Marine, I know what mountain climbers are. Uh, let's see. Uh, la, la, la. Yes. No, no way, I'm sure I will love my upcoming Trainer 19. We're sure you'll love your Trainer yeah. 19 as well. Let's see, I love these videos. How to find all your exercises, I had back surgery. Cindy, they're all on the YouTube channel. Yeah. Or they're all on Facebook, um, posted. And we've been doing them for years now, so sifting through that probably well, easier. Well, I was gonna say the Master Spa's YouTube channel is just a little bit easier to navigate yeah, through for sure. them, um, and and they have been actually um, updating like the little clips that come with yeah. it, so that it's easier to find them. Yep. Um, there's so there's more. There are several though. Yeah, Cindy, there's there's more content in there than you could ever possibly want to see of us. <laughs> to do thoughts on an in spa water bike, Peggy? I love it, but. So I, I, it does work well. It gets in the way of everything else. And we learned something about those bikes years. Man, that was a long time ago. Yeah, it was a long time ago. Uh, when we tested all that stuff and the, the treadmills and the bikes and all that stuff, the bike is, is made with uh, like two inch square tube stainless steel with holes drilled in it. And it's nice and light when it's out of the water and you put it in the water and it fills with water and then it weighs so 2,000 pounds when yeah. you try to get it out. Uh, I'm a strong guy. I could not get it out of the water myself. You have to hold it out of the water and long enough to drain it and then lift it out. So it was that was the part that we didn't like. Um, so the exercise component of it was excellent, but it was really challenging to get out. It took two, two, I think two people, maybe not three, but two people, strong people to get it out. And it was just a little bit problematic, um, but I did like it. I'm just joining you to talk about water shoes. Any good ones? We didn't talk about water shoes. We talked about soft tread and how you didn't need water shoes for this. Um, I used to wear those five finger toed things before there was soft tread and probably like any cheap yeah. like water shoe for boating would, would be great. You know, like a rubber sole bottom. You don't have to get crazy. Um, I'm not saying, I, this is like the one thing where spending more doesn't necessarily make them better, I think, which is nice for a change because nothing else is like that. Adding ideas to my water workout. Chris, awesome. Thank you, Ben. One more question. Besides my knee and back problems, I also have neck issues, including four bulging discs. Woo. Are there any neck? Let's see, Mary, can you hit that? Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll get lucky. No chance. My, there That's we go. ridiculous. I can never get that. Are there any neck exercises that can be done? There are lots of neck exercises. Um, typically your neck is gonna be out of the water so they may not be water specific. Um, I would not assign those with four bulging discs. I would not venture to say that I'm an expert to do that um, without talking to your physical, physical therapist, therapist yeah. or, or even your ortho with that because that's serious stuff. Um, you wanna make sure you're very, very careful with that and only do what's prescribed to you. Uh, four bulging discs, that's no joke. 
But if you do tell your physical therapist, I'm assuming you already have, that you have a swim spa, that you can do water exercises, maybe they can assign specific exercises for the water. <laughs> Melissa, Melissa, I think Melissa's fun. Can you answer my hairy question earlier? I didn't see the hairy question, but I'm enjoying it now. I asked if hair is a problem for filters. My husband is a teddy bear hairy. <laughs> hey, hang on, we gotta hit the Seymour. <laughs> There he goes. And I want to use the spa as reason exercise for him to shave his whole body. That's a new one. All right, so you're just gonna have to make this up. It's not, it's not true. So let me preface this. It's, what I'm about to say is not true. Tell him it voids the warranty to be have excessive oh body gosh, hair. Oh my gosh, Just tell him. Stop it. <laughs> Melissa, that's awesome. Devious, awesome. All right. Lots of comments. In there is lots today. of comments. Yeah. We're 450. We got to go. I know. Okay. We'll, uh, we'll get back on here yeah. and answer the questions. So a <laughs> little bit. The hair. Little change of schedule. Yes. Uh, we have a impromptu kind of Facebook live next week. Where? So uh, it, we are actually going to be at Fort Wayne at the factory. So it is normal time next Wednesday at 4 p.m. Eastern, Master Spas Facebook Live directly from Master Spas. Yep. So we will see you in one week instead of two. And uh, we hope everyone joins us. Master Spas Facebook Live next week. It's Wednesday, August 31st. We've got some fun stuff going on. So. Come on and see us then. Next week. It. We'll see you next week. Enjoy. We'll Be good. Answer, uh, their get fit. We'll, on here. we'll hop on there tonight and yeah. get get on your questions. All right. We'll see you guys soon. Thanks, guys. Be good. Have a good night.